and I expect to make a decision by mid-November. Question number five, the Honourable Judith Collins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Housing and Urban Development, does he stand by all his answers to oral questions yesterday? The Honourable Phil Twyla. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Yes, I have looked into the matter, and I'm advised that the tenant contacted Housing New Zealand on the 19th of October because of a burglary. In response, Housing New Zealand contractors secured the property the same day. Housing New Zealand has installed deadlocks, and we're due to install a new locking system yesterday before the member raised the matter in the House, but the tenant wasn't home. Housing New Zealand has arranged with the tenant to attend at 4pm today to replace the door locks. I understand that the deadlocks took 11 days to be installed. That is, in my view, unacceptable, and I, and I have asked Housing New Zealand for a detailed explanation of why, in light of the particular circumstances and the vulnerable situation that this tenant was in, Housing New Zealand did not install deadlocks with a lot more urgency. Is it acceptable for Housing New Zealand to continue to insist on replacing the internal, external door lock and putting a deadlock in when the entire door frame and the whole locking system are faulty and currently rendered useless with a screwdriver? Well, I'm advised that Housing New Zealand were there within hours to secure the property. Deadlocks have subsequently been installed, albeit uh, after far too long a period of time. Housing New Zealand is now reviewing the locks that have been used in all of its homes in the McLennan development. Does the Minister then agree that wood and duct tape are not an acceptable Housing New Zealand solution that was supplied to the tenant? Well, I'm happy to receive that information if the member wishes to pass it over, and I will investigate it. Uh, point of order, hey, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, the Honourable Mr. Just Speaker, comment. I seek leave to table photograph of the. Is repeat. there any objection to that photograph being tabled? There appears to be none. Thank you. Further supplementary? Sure. Should Housing New Zealand be especially aware of the fear that a tenant has in losing her home when she has been challenging the decisions of New Zealand's biggest landlord? My expectation is clearly that Housing New Zealand will respond to uh, tenants' concerns and situations like uh, these burglaries promptly and compassionately. From the answers uh, given today by the Minister, is he advising the House that all 63,000 of Housing New Zealand houses will now be checked to see if their locking systems are faulty? As I said, um, I've, uh, I'm advised that Housing New Zealand are checking all of the locks that have been used in this development, and I will ask them to, uh, to look into whether or not that review of the locks at McLennan uh, should be applied more widely through the Housing New Zealand estate. A point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, the Honourable Jeff Collins. Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table two further photographs of the locking system and door showing that there is a massive gap between the two and how they do not actually connect very well is for it, the Minister's is, it, they, uh, is that, that the full set that the member wants yes, to table today? Mr. Is Speaker. there any objection to those two being tabled? There appears Thank to be you, none. Mr. Speaker. Further supplementary? Um, question number six. David Seymour. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question